Hey, yo, everyone, Andrew here, bringing you another video review, and today we're going to be doing another figure review, and that will be of the Series 1 DC Direct Blackest Night, Atrocitus. A little information about Atrocitus. Atrocitus is the leader of the Red Lantern Corps, and you kind of feel bad for this guy because his whole entire sector was destroyed by the Manhunters, the Sector 666. So this puts Atrocitus in a vengeful rage. He does not like the Green Lantern Corps after this. I mean, of course, you know, destroying your whole entire sector is gonna, gonna kind of leave someone on a bad note. So, anyways, Atrocitus is eventually captured by Abensor, but he kills Abensor or causes Abensor's death. Then recaptured by Sinestro and Hal Jordan, only for Atrocitus to escape once again and create the Red Lantern Corps. Eventually, Atrocitus goes out to try to take out Sinestro and to take out the Green Lantern Corps, but his motives eventually change after the Blackest Night and the Brightest Day. Atrocitus and his Red Lantern Corps start to turn into more of angels of vengeance and the, the guardians of uh, retribution, more than just raging idiots. And they decide to focus their power on righting the wrongs that have been done to victims. And that's basically Atrocitus in a nutshell. Let's, uh, powers and abilities. Atrocitus, uh, is, well, he's nigh immortal. The guy lives for a long time, and he doesn't seem to be aging at all. In addition to that, he has increased durability and strength, and the ability to cast blood magic, which he uses more or less to see into the future. Atrocitus also has his red lantern ring, which gives him flight, Ability to live in the uh, to survive in the vacuum of space, energy shields, his napalm and napalm constructs. Now, red lanterns are pretty much immortal and invincible until their ring is removed from them. So, if you remove their hand or their arm, they die. You remove the ring, they die. But until then, they can take quite a beating. And that is the powers and abilities of Trossus. Let's get into the figure itself. Now, Atrocitus and the Red Lanterns are my second favorite Lantern Corps, probably because red is my favorite color. And I needed to get Atrocitus because I've been really enjoying the Red Lantern comics. And there's only one other Atrocitus figure, and I don't think it's out yet. Actually, other than LaFreeze, I believe Atrocitus is the rarest of the Black Snipe figures. I could be wrong, but that's what I've been told, and that's what I've been seeing online with purchasing on eBay and Amazon. So if you see this bad boy, you might want to just get him for the pure rarity of the figure. If you're into that kind of stuff. Uh, the packaging is the Black as Night packaging with the Black Lantern symbol on the back. You got the, the figure in the bubble wrap and you got the Black as Night symbol on the top. And then of course in the back you see the other figures in the wave. I do want to get Saint Skywalker. Saint Walker. I just said Saint Skywalker. Um, I also want to get him from the wave, and then hopefully I want to get the leader of each core in some way, shape, or form. Whether or not that will happen, we'll see. But, you know, it's the standard packaging for the Blackest Night figure. So, I'm going to open this bad boy up, we'll take a look at the figure, and we'll go from there. Okay, let's take a look at this bad raging boy right here. Uh, now... You can notice that Atrocitus is sporting a beautiful metallic red colored paint on his clothing. This is the summer wear from Calvin Klein for the Red Lantern Corps. But uh, no, obviously you can see that there is a metallic coating on the figure. Now this does not include the shoulder pads and what Atrocitus calls his crown. Um, it just includes his, well, leotard or his suit. No shoulder pads. Just a suit. Uh, it does look a little off when you see the two con uh, colors kind of contrast with each other, but the shine does look pretty good. Uh, Trosses has a beautifully sculpted face, beautifully in how accurate it is. I'm not sure if you can call that beautiful. I mean, Trosses isn't the best looking fellow. Can you imagine making out with that? Can you? Ugh. Ugh. I'm just, never mind. I'm thinking of something wrong. What could happen with those teeth? Uh, and the hands are nicely sculpted, too. I know that's kind of random, but they look really good. Now, the biggest fault to this figure right away is the articulation blows major monkey balls. Um, the arms go up and go slightly out. They do not turn at all at the bicep. Not. They bend here, and that's it. 
The hands look like they can be moved, but I tried to, and I was getting kind of a funny sound from them. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tempt fate. Uh, again, the arms can bend, and then they can move up slightly and out. Legs can go up and can bend slightly, and that's about it. The head looks like it can move, but I can't get it to move because this plastic is in the way. You think, oh, maybe you can just turn it side to side? No, no, not at all. Um, Atrocis does come with his red lantern, and he does come... I uh, really shouldn't have done this review wearing red. Maybe I should take it off, because all the red is blending into me. I'll just wear my CM Punk shirt. There we go. Um, as you can see, the red lantern, and he comes with a base that has the red lantern symbol. Both looking really nice. Um, and on a whole, this figure looks good. The problem with it is it just has zero articulation. I understand. DC Direct. It's not known for its articulation, or now it's called DC Collectibles. But here's the thing. This is bad, even by DC Collectible standards. This is like early 90s DC Collectibles. It's just not good. Maybe not early 90s, but early 2000s. Uh, the articulation is just bad. Uh, but the figure itself looks nice, and I'd say it would be worth picking up, just for the pure simple fact that it looks good. I really wanted to trust this figure, and when I saw him, I needed to pick him up. Uh, so I'm going to end this review here. Atrocis, if I had to give him a rating out of 10, I'd give him a 6. He looks really nice, just the articulation kills me. This is Andrew saying, peace out, for now.